so hard fought day, you know, kind of uh, assess how, how things went for you today. Uh, it was it was a good day. Um, I wrestled a lot of good kids. Kid in the finals, uh, Kanan, he's, he's a solid kid. I used to work out with him when he was in high school, so I knew he was, he was going to be able to bang and he, he wrestled good. But I felt, I felt all right, got a little banged up, got to fix his knee and be all right, be good. So coming in, what were you expecting, you know, out of not just your performance, but out of the competition? And what did you really want to work on against these guys? Um, I wanted to work on uh, attacking and scoring as many points as I can. Um, I, I noticed that when I stop scoring and attacking, that's when I, I lose or I get taken down or, or the match goes. Yeah. Do you way. feel like you kind of relax a little bit? Yeah. 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 I get up, I get lax, and then stuff happens. It shouldn't happen. So what did you take from today that, you know, you want to either work on or that you felt that, you know, you were just better than these guys were? Uh, no, nah, I mean, these guys are, are good. One thing I take away is uh, I, mean, I get banged up easy and I, it kind of freaks me out, especially my knee. I, that last match, I think I kind of gave it a little bit more oomph, but I was kind of like in the back of my head, I had this like, oh, dang. So I got to get over that little, that little mindset, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And other than that, I felt good. I mean, I think I wrestled solid today. So. Yeah. So, you know, how much does it mean to you to have these guys come into your gym, but, you know, you defend your home turf and you come out with the wins today? Man, that was more of his home turf than it was mine, you <laughs> yeah, know what yeah, I mean? A he was, uh, he's a Michigan uh, lumbo. He was born and raised in Michigan, him and Ian Parker, so they had a low crowd, but it was cool. It was cool, you know? It was, it was good. It's always fun competing at home where you got my, uh, my dad was here, my family, and then my other family, which is the team and, and the rest of East Lansing that was rooting for me. So it's always good competing for them and, and pulling off victories for them. Mm -hmm. Now, I just talked to Drew Hughes, and he said that, you know, you winning was, was a a major thing for him, especially with him winning, you know, right after that, you know, as one of the leaders of the team, you know, how do you, would you kind of say that you lead on the team? Are you more vocal um, guy or is it just yeah, by I example? I, I try to be, I try to be vocal. I try to, I try to lead by example, but there's one thing that I, it's a philosophy of mine that I'm trying to get these younger guys to do and it's to, to lead themselves. Um, we're all headed the same way. We all want the same thing and that's to be a national champion. And, and I don't want them to just depend on me, you know. I want them, let's say I lost that, that match, you know. I wanted him to be able to, even if I lost, him go out there and, and, and lead himself to a victory, you know. And, and I think that's what separates a lot of the good from the great, is that they're able to, to lead themselves. They don't need to follow it in anybody's footsteps. They have their own, their own vision for what they want, and, and they're going to do whatever it takes to get there. So that's one thing that I'm trying to... Trying to preach to this to this young team because they're talented. I mean, um, the young the younger classmen are, are they're nails, and they get that in their head. I think, I think we're gonna be all right. All right. Well, congrats on the win. We'll let you go uh, relax, and yeah. you have a good week. Yeah. See ya.